Okay, question 12 is straightforward, expanding and simplifying. The only difference is you have to do it three times because it's cubed rather than squared. So what I'm going to do is just write it out three times because it's cubed. So I've got t plus 4 times t plus 4 times t plus 4. Let's multiply the second two, the last two brackets first. So I've got t plus 4, leave that there. And crab's claws again, multiply these out. So I've got t times t is t squared. t times 4 is 4t. And 4 times t is another 4t. Add them together, you get plus 8t. And 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 16. Now you do exactly the same this part. So t times all of these three terms and 4 times all of these three terms. And then we'll simplify them at the end. So let's just go through them. t times t squared is t cubed. t times 8t is plus 8t squared. t times 16 is plus 16t. Now 4 times everything. 4 times t squared is plus 4t squared. 4 times 8 is plus 32t. 4 times 16, double it and double it again. 16, 32, 64. Right, let's put all the like terms together. t cubed. 8t squared and 4t squared is plus 12t squared. 32t and 16t. 32 and 16 is plus 48t. And then the constant at the end, plus 64. That's done. Let's have a look at the question 13. It says work out angle x. Now, we don't have a right angle triangle, so we can't use sort of two. And we have got angles and sides, so it's either the sine rule or the cosine rule. Um, they're both given on the formula sheet, so you don't have to remember them. Let's have a look if it was the sine rule. We've got A over sine A, A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C, but we don't need that. So let's have a check. If we did... Um, small a, we need this one for the angle, so that would be one unknown, we don't have that. Um, b over sine b, if we look at either of these two, 16 would need this angle, 9 would need this angle, so we can't use the sine rule because there's always going to be two unknowns there. So it's going to be the cosine rule. And it's the cosine rule where we've got um, the rearranged part because we're trying to find an angle. So if we're trying to find an angle, you look at that part, which is given on the formula sheet. So you don't have to remember it, it's given. At, unlike GCSE, where you do need to remember it, at this one, at this level, you don't have to remember it's given. So let's put this down. Cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2BC. Okay, now the only thing you have to remember for this is that the capital letter angle here, A, matches with the side because that's got to be subtracted. So that's the only thing. B and C can be anything, but this angle, if this was angle A, that matches with the 20. So that's the, got to be the one that we subtract. Okay, these two, it doesn't matter which way around you have them. You can have that as A or B, and that as A or B. So let's put everything in we've got. Cos, instead of putting A, I'll put X. Equals, I'll just show 16 as B. So it's 16 squared plus 9 squared minus, this has got to be the one that we subtract, 20 squared, all divided by 2 times 16 times 9. And let's just stick that in on the calculator. So... Let's have a look. I like to use the fraction button. So put these values in. 16, press the x squared button. Plus 9 x squared. Subtract 20 x squared. Use the replay button to go to the bottom or the denominator. 2 times 9 times, oops. I'll put it the right way around. 
2 times 16 times 9. And see what that is. That is negative 7 over 32. So we've got cos x equals negative 7 over 32. Right, that's the cosine of the angle. To get the angle on its own, you've got to um, inverse that. So we had, I'll just press that again because it, it went off. All we need to do for this one, we've got negative 7 over 32. All you do now is shift cos because that gives the cos the minus 1. And then answer. That's the previous answer, negative 7 over 32. So shift cos and answer equals and we get 102.63 and round that up to four significant figures 102.6 degrees 102.6 degrees and that's it